Hey y'all, it's Kadisha and I'm back with another video. I want to talk about being humble as I was be I was actually humbled um, this past week and it just made me realize like sometimes we can get um, a little bit and I have a video actually talking about this where we can have this sense of entitlement and not necessarily even realize that that is exactly what it is. And so just to kind of give you a, a backstory, uh, I was going, I, I took like the morning off. And so when you take off, you usually want to get everything done as you can as possible. Uh, every single thing you can, uh, you want to get everything done, get as much as you can uh, done as quickly as possible. And so uh, I was going to get my tires done and I didn't make an appointment, so I knew, okay, there's gonna be a wait time. But I didn't, I wasn't told like how long the wait was. And so I was sitting there, hour rolled by, two hour rolled by, and I still have to go in uh, to work. So I was like, oh my goodness, I'm sitting here. And I think I got more so irritated than anything. And that's why um, we have to be really, we have to really listen to the word when it says to be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath because if not you can say some things that you can hurt somebody's feelings and even saying i'm sorry will not help it and i um i got back i got in the line and i was just like i look first i looked to see if my car was still there and it was and i got in line and i was like well i've been here for two hours and my car is still here may i i probably didn't say may i i, I probably just said can i have my keys you know, after you rehearse it for a little while, you feel like you probably said some things that you actually did not say. And <clears throat> they were like, okay, you know, what is your last name? And they were just basically trying to see where did I fall on the waiting list. And they were like, oh, you know, this is the, the time, such and such. And I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, you weren't aware? I was like, no, I was, you know, I wasn't. And I'm sure I was not smiling. I'm smiling now, but I'm sure I was not smiling. I was probably just looking at him dead serious. And, um... And he was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm so sorry about that. Um, you probably seen other people come in before you. I mean, leave, I mean, come in after you, but leave before you. And it's because they set up an appointment. And I was like, oh, okay. So appointment, y'all do go by your appointments. And the reason why I say this is because I've had where previous places, they have you set up an appointment and they don't go by the appointment. And that's not fair for me to put that on them. And they were like, yeah, we do. And so do you want me to help you set up an appointment for the next time? And I was like, no. And I was like, can you call or do it online? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And I'm trying to think if that was it. And he went out to find my, get my keys. And when he came back, he was like, oh, well, they were about to do it in about, you know, 10 more minutes. They were going to get to your car. And I was like, oh, okay. And I just left. And I got in the car and I was just so mad that I feel like I spent two hours in a place and didn't get anything done. And the Lord really convicted me in that because I treated that person. I was very short with that person and they were so nice. They were so apologetic and I was just so short because I feel like I wasted time sitting in there. And the Lord's like, you need to apologize. And I was just like, but I didn't do anything. And the thing is, it's not about, most of the time we think if I, because of course, if I would have cursed the person out or yelled at the person, then we would have said, oh yeah, I was wrong. But even you, it's your tone. It's not the way, and I think this was in the Love and Respect book. It's like, it's not what, um, it's not necessarily most of the time what you say, but it's how you say it. And I know I was very short with the person because I'm angry. And does that give me an excuse to be short with somebody? No, it does not. And so the Lord allowed me to realize, like, you need to be humble. Like, you need to not do that because these people have other people that they have to work with day in and day out. You're not the only person here in this uh, in this tire place. And I was like, all right, Lord, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to apologize. Because he also, he wasn't even the person who had checked me in in the first place. So it was a totally different person. So it's like he got the, basically, he got the shorter end of the stick because of somebody else's mistake. And that was not right. And I was, and I have to, of course, go back and think about how would I feel if that was me on the other end? Like, I didn't do anything, but I'm the one who's getting, like, the rude tone because of somebody else. And I'm trying to be as poly apologetic as I can. And that person still is just, like, not being satisfied. And it's just, like, 
come on, we're all human. Nothing's going to go perfectly all the time. And so the Lord allowed me to realize like that was wrong and that I had to apologize to that person. So, uh, yes, y'all, I don't know if you're oftentimes humbled by situations, but oh, I'm going to tell you so you won't have to be humbled. Be slow to speak. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to wrath because... For one, you don't know what kind of day somebody else is having. And for two, it just helps everybody. <laughs> it does when you're nice and you're very, um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You're understanding. It helps everybody. So, yes, y'all, I hope you get something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, remember to be the change that you want to see in someone else. Until next time, bye.